that can cure? What? Worms. <laughs> and that's why it's called wormwood. <clears throat> Sorrel, good for the digestion. Juniper, one good rub of that under your armpits and your kiss could bite your warts. <laughs> sage. Now, did you know that a daily cup of sage tea can give you long life? No, I didn't. Well, it can. Rosemary. They used to say that this eased the brain and made it work better. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Knotted marjoram. Now, my old gran used to swear that if you had a twist of knotted marjoram and dried caraway seeds and you pinned it to the bottom of your shirt for a 12 month, you need never suffer from incontinence. <laughs> I suppose that's worth knowing. <laughs> What's that? This. Oh, this is Tipsaponia. Said to cure all ills. All of them? According to legend. Oh, uh, may I? Hmm. Uh, tip tipsy what? Tipsy ponia. Get that down you and you wouldn't have to go tramps into the chemist four times a week now, would you? <laughs> so, uh, well, what do you do with it? Well, you collect up a few more of those, you cook them, and you turn them into a liquid tonic. I'll get some more. Uh, have you got the recipe? Yes. I'll write it down for you when I finish this. Oh, thanks. Uh, Tipsaponia, the cure for all ills. <laughs> Anyone going into Fennybrook today? No. I'm decorating my room. And I'm washing the van. Oh. Only we've got too many runner beans, so I thought we might as well try to sell some. Try Morris. Good idea. Are you still trying to find a challenge, Morris? A new deftifying feat? Yeah. Good. Take these to Fennybrook Market and sell them. Beans? Yes. So how am I supposed to get to Fennybrook? I can't drive. You can walk, can't you? I'd rather be taken in the van. Yes, so the van's being washed. Taking beans to market? I wouldn't exactly call that deftifying. <laughs> Depends on how you do it. You could always try walking backwards. With your eyes shut. <laughs> Beans. I did like dirty pink. <laughs> it is not dirty pink. It's called Misty Morning. Oh. I think it will go very well with a heart and flowers bedspread, don't you? What about the woodwork? I'm going to bring that in gently with Mediterranean prawn. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of carpet to match in. What shade would go well with Misty Morning and Mediterranean Prawn? What about instant nausea? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. You haven't got two apneys to rub together, do you know that? Of course I do. But maybe I'll hear soon from one of those jobs I've applied for. And maybe you won't. In the meantime, you're still living in an abandoned railway station. Over the tracks, at the end of the line. In other words, you've hit the buffers, Mr. Drake. Not necessarily. So why worry about poncing this room up? It's not worth it. I mean, I could do with a bit of carpet and the ladies only. I've got wartime lino in there. <laughs> <sighs> Steady. I wonder where 
we'll be in 20 years' time? Who? All of us. I wonder what we'll be doing. Well, perhaps Morris will have achieved his ambitions and got somewhere with his round-the-world attempts. Mm. In 20 years, he could have got as far as Dover. <laughs> <laughs> but what about Tommy? Tommy? Oh, I expect he'll find a warm place one day. And someone warm to be with. Mm. For always. Hopefully. For his sake. <laughs> Mr Ansell could be in charge of a pharmacy. <laughs> yes, he'd be happy there. I don't know where I'll be. You? Oh, you'll probably be married again to some other suburban bitch. <laughs> I doubt it. And then there's you, of course. Me? Oh, don't worry about me. I'll be all right. I'm a natural survivor. <laughs> yes, you are. I shouldn't think you'll be looking for Hengisbury Head in 20 years. No, I won't. I get frightened. What? Nothing. You just get on with your painting. Angie! I slipped. Did you? Right, get them off. Huh? Your jeans. I can't. Of course you can. Come on, my little murky morning. Misty morning. All right, then. Misty morning. But uh, I haven't got anything else to wear. Oh, yes, you have. With that. With what? With the carpet on your back. Oh. <laughs> Nowhere. Where did you get it? Found it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice piece of carpet. Very nice. It's good quality, too. Where was it found? Dumped on the platform, according to Tommy. It was, out there, by the entrance. A bit of that would look nice in the ticket office. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. This is mine. I saw it first. This is going in the signal box. What, all of it? All of it. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Ladies only first. Oh, here go. Just hold on a moment! <laughs> there is enough carpet here for all of us. We could divide it evenly. How? By cutting it into four pieces. What about Morris? Yes, he's going to need some in the luggage office. All right, then five pieces. Now, would someone like to fetch the scissors? <laughs> <laughs> All right, then I'll fetch them myself. <laughs> now, let's just behave like sensible human beings, shall we? Let's have a little bit of dignity about the place. That's better. Mr Drake? Yes? <laughs> You've dropped one of your pom-poms. <laughs> <laughs> Line. I am trying my best. And no frayed edges. <laughs> I uh, suppose it's a bit late now, but shouldn't we have found out who this belongs to? <laughs> <laughs> it was dumped, wasn't it? That's right. Well, it's a bit new to be dumped. Well, was there a, a label on it? Any means of identification? No, nothing. There you are, then. Well, let's hope... Look. 
Do you want a nice warm carpet in that ticket office of yours or not? I want a nice warm carpet. Right. <laughs> Where you go. There's a piece of carpet for you. Oh, thanks. Well? Well, what? The money, let's have it. What money? The money for the beans. The beans that you took to market. Oh, them. But how much did you get for them, Morris? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing? What do you mean, nothing? I bet he never went near that market. I did. I got all the way there. Almost. <laughs> then something happened. What? What happened? I was followed. <laughs> followed? Yeah. <laughs> followed by who, exactly? <laughs> I was followed by a cow. <laughs> a what? A cow. A lady cow. Follow me all the way home. He wouldn't leave me. I couldn't make it go away. Just follow me. I think it likes me. You see? So where are the beans? The beans? The beans that you didn't sell. I, um. I gave them to the cow. <laughs> oh, did you? Well, she she looked hungry. Now, let me work this out. <laughs> you took the beans to market to sell. And you came back with a cow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Didn't see any big plants along the way, I suppose. <laughs> Big plants <laughs> growing up to the sky <laughs> <laughs> with a deep voice saying fee fi fo fum. <laughs> no, nothing like that. Huh? <laughs> I think she must have fallen in love with you, Morris. I reckon she has. <laughs> what are you going to do with it? I don't know. Look after it until someone claims it. We'll be all right for milk, then. Yes, and butter, and cream, even cheese. So, what's her name, I wonder? No idea. Oh, you have to give her a name, Morris. What about Belle, with an E? That took a lot of working out, didn't it? <laughs> I put her in the field tonight and give her a good brush down tomorrow. She isn't a horse. <laughs> but a little brush down won't do her any harm. <laughs> Why don't you give her a manicure while you're at it? Look at this. What's it say? Wait for it. Wait for the big day. What big day? There's another one over there. Are you ready for the big day? It's weird. What is it? All this. A poster stuck to the wall. That carpet left on the platform. Something's going on around here. And whatever it is, we seem to be the last to know about it. You crushed the herbs up finely, did you? 
Tips of Pony only works if the herbs have been finely crushed. Oh, don't worry. They're well and truly crushed. I put them under a board and did running on the spot for a good hour. <laughs> <laughs> and you washed them? I thoroughly. Sieve them? Yes. Sweeten them? I did. And how many pints of water did you add? Four. <laughs> You've got it! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that stinks! What is it? An elixir. A panacea. Well, I don't like Italian soup. <laughs> it's not soup, it's a tonic. A pick-me-up. Oh. The universal cure. How long does it take? Oh, no time at all. It's amazing. It ferments overnight. So, how's the carpet? Oh, it matches beautifully. And, um, how much paint did you spill on it? Not a lot. <laughs> well, my bit of carpet's gone down a tree. I mean, I had to chop a few holes in it to make it fit round the levers, but at least that signal box is warm at last. Oh, she's happy in that field. She gave me a little good night moo and settled down for the night. <laughs> Good. She'll be fine. I'd put me a bit of carpet under a tree for her. <laughs> you what? Cows don't sleep on carpet. Well, that one does. <laughs> happened? During the night, I suppose. It must have been. I didn't hear anything. Nor did I. So who's responsible? Can't you guess? the day. What day? This day. The day. <gasps> On your feet. <laughs> it's Stutterton Station starts again day. <gasps> this railway line of mine is about to be reopened by me. I have bought a train. <laughs> The rest of the bandsmen will be arriving soon in their full dress uniforms, and the train is being polished for the opening ceremony. What opening ceremony? The opening ceremony that is all set to take place at this station. When? Oh, in about half an hour's time. In half an hour? Now, you're all ready for the day, are you? Oh, yes. And you? And you are, I hope. Eh? And I'm sure she is. Now, listen here. So, where is it? Where's what? My red carpet. <laughs> red. <laughs> red carpet. Yes, I ordered it to be delivered here in time for the opening ceremony. And opening ceremonies must have red carpet. So where is it? Do you really want to know? Because we've got. <laughs> okay. um, it's, it's all right. We, we we have it. We found it. We, we we've got it. We're. Keeping it in a safe place. <laughs> Good, because you're in charge of it. I expect you to have it rolled out and thoroughly swept by the time the guests arrive. Guests as well? Oh, yes. Guests and admirers. They'll all be here at approximately 20 minutes from now. Now, <laughs> here are the plans. What are these? Oh, there's just a drop of homemade tonic. Oh, disgusting. Now, the train will be back down the line to this station. I shall be aboard along with the band. I will then give my grand reopening Stutterton Starts Again speech. My guests and admirers will then board the train 
And with the music playing, we shall move triumphantly and majestically back along the line. And I expect a good rousing cheer from you people. Uh, we'll try our best. Yeah. Good. Keep yourself available, will you, Mr. Drake? Available? Yes. If I get bored with my current crop of admirers, <laughs> I may well decide to seduce you. <laughs> well, I must go and prepare myself. You. <coughs> what is this day called? Stattered and stop, Stephen. Uh, <laughs> Stattered and stop. Stattered and station starts again, day. Good. <laughs> and do not forget my red carpet. Well, one red carpet. cows now. <coughs> Must be our sisters come looking for her. <laughs> hey, you know in the Wild West, when them fellas used to drive cattle from coast to coast? Yeah. Well, I bet no one's ever walked a herd of cows around the world. <laughs> no, I don't suppose they have. <laughs> I might start practicing now. There's another cow. Where? Just come in the field. That big one with a ring in its nose. <laughs> Come on, my beauties. <laughs> it's me, Morris. Mrs. Kelly, she certainly knows how to put on a show. She certainly does. Absolutely. <laughs> How about you? Not a lot. Is there anything to drink in this place? No. Uh, what about that then? This. This is my stomach. <laughs> it doesn't do any a lot of good, does it? Here, let's give it a go, huh?
Josh has said it was a pick-me-up. It is. So what am I doing down here? <laughs> Did you drink it all? Uh, no, I, I gave some of it away. To who? To the three fellas in the pub. And the bass drummer. And the vicar. <laughs> and, uh, oh, Did you give it to anyone else? Yes. The engine driver. <laughs> chased by them cows over by the railway line and the train's not gonna stop <laughs> Them cows are all right. Is <laughs> it grazing? What about the people? Well, they're okay. What about the train? That? <laughs> well, that's wrecked. <laughs> wrecked? Right, so? I know the feeling. <laughs> What's going to happen to us now, eh? Who knows? Have you got any of that tipsy pony left? Oh. <laughs> Cheers. <sighs> oh, come on. Show me the way to go home. <laughs> I'm, I'm tired and I want to go to bed. I had a little drink about an hour ago and it's gone right through my head.